Hey guys, welcome back to the video. Uh, I forgot that I wanted to <laughs> do this build on a video, so I'm already halfway done with it, but I figured I'd still pull up uh, the video and record it. So, so far we have the CPU in place. Uh, that was a pain in the butt. We got my two sticks of G-Skill uh, RAM, 3200 megahertz. That is eight gigs a piece, so 16 gigs of RAM. I do have 32 gigs worth of RAM, but my other two sticks are uh, really hard to get out of here. Okay. Oh, my other two sticks of RAM are Corsair Vengeance LPX, and they are only 2400, so. I don't want to underclock these and lose performance, which I don't think I would notice a difference anyway. I'll just wait until my next paycheck or the paycheck after that and buy two more sticks of this. Only things left to put in here are my uh, 970 Evo Plus that you couldn't see. I need to put that in here and my GPU, and then I gotta throw it in the case. We can try to boot it and I hope we're all good. So I'm gonna turn this facing me. Um, I gotta figure out where this plugs in. I'm gonna do the right thing since this is slightly new to me. And look at the instruction booklet. I just wanna know the best place to plug it in. I'm guessing it's at the top. I shouldn't pick it up by that. Yeah, there's CPU fan right there. That's system fan, JPM1. Yeah, best place is gonna be up here, which I wish I didn't have so much cable. There might be a better place to put it, but we'll double check the user manual. I'm not afraid to admit when I wanna look. Uh, it doesn't really show me hmm no it doesn't show me in here where the best place to put it is so I am gonna just put it in the top one I don't want to put it there because I have all this extra wire to worry about but I guess if that's where I gotta put it that's where I gotta put it let me look at the other quick start because there's two of them. This one's worthless. Anyway, so we're gonna plug this in up here because that's the only CPU header I can seem to find. I'll figure out what to do with that wire later. Um, that's just gonna be ugly for now. Yeah, there's no other way for me to run it, so, and there's no other CPU fan for me to put it on. That's okay. System fan, system fan, J Rainbow, pump fan, it's good to know, and CPU fan 1, and I think CPU fan 2, if needed. Anyway, so that's on the CPU fan now. Maybe I can... That's good enough, whatever. So now I need to open this up, which is what my tiny screwdriver is for. And we gotta put my M.2 in. I have never had an M.2 slot like this. This is insane. So we need Samsung. This slides right in here. By the way, for those of you who don't know, I do work in a tech shop. Uh, it's, it's a fun little place. I need the screws. Hopefully in the box. Yep. I work in a fun little tech shop. And, uh, I posted an $1,800 Mac today. A Mac Pro. It's a late 2013. Listen to these specs. <coughs> Intel Xeon E5. 8 core 16 thread. So still more than I have here. 
Um, it is uh, 64 gigs of RAM. God damn it. Screwdriver is not magnetic. And that popped out. Uh, do I have a smaller screw head? I don't know what I did with my iFixit kit. Come here. Damn it. Will this fit? Oh, it does. Sick. So, 64 gigs of RAM. Uh, dual AMD D700 GPUs. Fire Pros. $1,800 computer. From 2013. Try to sell any Windows computer from 2013 for that amount of money, and people will laugh at you. Don't have to go in very far with that. And now we pull... <clears throat> These screws, man. I don't even know where that one went. Where did you go? There it is. Like... What an outrageous price, but that's what they sell for. So we're going to take that off. This goes this way. This goes here and here. And I'll tighten this one down, which I guess I could have used the other screwdriver for, but whatever. This one's not. I have the worst butterfingers on the planet. They're also fat fingers. I think this is the first time I've ever had a cooler for my SSD. That's ridiculous. There we go, that's fine. Perfect. So there's a cooler on my SSD. <laughs> okay. And now, I wonder if I can pull up our eBay store and find that thing. Hold on, I am curious. I should be able to pull up our eBay store. My computer is chugging. The one that I'm recording on, this thing is chugging. This computer is terrible, though. That's why. And I'm sure you guys can even hear it. It's not good. Uh, Act Pro... A1481 D700. We were like one of three posted on eBay. There's not many of them. Come on, just search, stupid. Come on, silly thing. Like this Mac Pro is ridiculous. Give me one second while my internet tries to catch up because apparently today it wants to be at snail's pace. This thing. Look at this thing. This is insane. It's a 2013 computer, and it's got better spec. Jesus Christ, my mouse is even lagging. I just tried to scroll like five seconds before it actually moved down. Look how long it takes for the finger to go away. Yeah, this thing's ridiculous. It's Pretty clean. It's running Big Sur because I didn't have an installer for newer. But 3 gigahertz, 8 core Xeon with 64 gigs of RAM and two AMD Fire Pro D700 6 gigabyte uh, GPUs. Two terabytes of storage. It's a monster. Anyway, let me fix OBS so we're back to the build. All right, back to the build. So. Got my SSD in, we gotta put my GPU in once I put it in the case. We got the RAM in, and we're pretty much good to go. I could get a second M.2 storage drive if I want to and put it right here. I'm not going to at the moment. Um, that's maybe a future thing. I don't really have a need for two M.2 storage drives when I have this many uh, SATA ports. And trust me, I have a lot of uh, I have a lot of drives to go through. Luckily, I have a NAS now, so I'll probably end up using that. But it's time to get this thing into its case and hope that it works. So I need to just 
clean up a little bit. Always clean up as you go along. I need a place to put this is my only problem. I don't have a spot. Yes, I do. I will just do what I always do and throw stuff at the floor. That wasn't the floor. That was for dr dramatic effect. Anyway, I'm not throwing my projector at the floor. I have a projector and tiny table. Just throw that at the tiny table. I can't wait to try this hot sauce. I'm gonna put this over here so it can be seen. Thank you, Pigpen, the one and only. You real fans will recognize that username, Pigpen, the one and only. Video coming soon with my fat face in it. For any of you curious what my fat face looks like. Anyway, I need to get this case up here. I'm not looking forward to it. Got my GPU. All right, let's get my fat case up here. Oh, this is going to be terrible. Because the power supply and some hard drives are already in here. God, y'all going to even be able to see, or am I just going to be talking to myself now? Can you tell how old this case is? It has hardline tubing for old school water cooling. You want to know the best part about this case? The size of the freaking fan at the top. You see this? This fan is the size of my hand. Oh, maybe this. It's the size of my hand. I don't know what size fan that is. I think that's a 240 millimeter fan. It's it sounds like a lawnmower when I turn this thing on. So, time to get the case and clear the motherboard in here and screw it all down. I'm just gonna like move all the wires off to the side. I know I should put the power supply in after. Hold on. Let's move this. There we go. I know I should put the power supply in after. I put the computer in here, or the motherboard, but I don't feel like undoing this, so it's just going in now, and I'm going to figure it out as we go. I need the motherboard screws. Oh, crap. Uh, where's my motherboard screws? Motherboard screws. Mother bow screws, where'd you get? Did this not come with motherboard screws? I don't think this came with motherboard screws. This didn't come with motherboard screws. come with any screws well that's okay I have some because you know I'm that guy I'm just gonna hope this fits in here there we are down on the posts I have some screws I'm gonna make sure they go in yeah, you guys can't see anything anymore. I apologize for that. There we go. That's one. Do you realistically need every screw? Asking for a friend. There we go. I think I have this the wrong way. go there we go yeah we're lucky I had some screws I need to put one up here I would have done this at a live stream but my internet is dog crap today 
so we're not doing this as a live stream. I'll pull this further over you guys can see. I think. I wish I had a way to make this a little better. I made it worse. Can I angle you down more? Oh, phone's falling. I have the camera at the moment connected to... I'm getting a phone call. Who is it? It is thy girlfriend. Hold on. So my girlfriend called and while I was on the phone with her, I almost finished this. I still need to do the power buttons and all that, but seeing the current view is currently this that you're seeing. Um, I'm just gonna pause the video, finish it, and then I will do, I will physically take the camera down off the stand that I'm using and show you the final product. And I just realized I'm an idiot. So I'll show you why I'm an idiot in a minute. Man, this angle is terrible. Anyway, um, together, I am not known for caring about my own cable management. I never care about it. I just sort of make sure it's together. There's a lot in this case I don't know what it is. Um, there's also a lot in this case that I don't really know what to do with. But it's together. So I'm going to uh, make room for it next to my desk where it's going to go. I'm going to plop it down and we're going to turn it on for the first time. So give me a couple minutes here. For you, it'll be one second. Not the best view, I know, and I'm sitting really far away from my... I can... I just dropped a hard drive. It hit my leg on the way down. I hope it's fine. Oh, it's used. But it has stuff on it that's important. Anyway, computer's done. As you can see, that fan is gigantic. Um... All the fans are working, all the LEDs are working, all the RGB is working. I don't care much about RGB, but it's up and running, so I gotta download Windows now. It might actually be booting, I don't know. But, it's done. And this should end up interesting. So I'm gonna flip-flop the HDMI, and we'll see if this works. Give me one second. 